Good morning. Okay, firstly, before I forget, um, if you're going to email me, do it soon, because uh, my internet is going to be off most of the day. So, uh, anything you email me, uh, if it doesn't arrive pronto, tonto, then uh, then I won't. I won't look at. I won't. <laughs> I won't look at it till later. All right. Um, can't be helped. I'm having a new fuse board. That's what happens. Um, so, in order to celebrate that, why does my screen look all grainy? It's really not very good quality. My camera is it. Um, we're gonna have some McFly. Yeah. Listen to this. Another great start. Listen to that. Kevin Adrian's here. That's the electrician. He won't know what the hell I'm doing. He'll just see me, like talking to the computer. I knew it. Oh, he's got to take something to the dogs. He loves the dogs. What a great start again. Let's say yesterday, simple songs, three notes. Ba 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 ba. Only if my notes. No, not at all. Ooh, totally out. Quite a happy song for a rainy day. Oh, keep me sheltered from the rain. Good song. Yeah? Keep me sheltered from the rain forever. Because look at it! It's raining! Although it's very good for the lawn. And the roses. Mmm. What happened on this day in history, folks? Well, you lot all think that this LGBTQAT plus thing is like new. It's not. Um, on this day in history, 1750, Captain James Gray uh, of the Royal Marines, who'd been serving in India for the last three years in the sweltering heat alongside his uh, tough colleagues, revealed to them that it wasn't Captain James Gray, it was Captain S. James Gray, in fact his real name was Hannah Snell, uh, that yeah, he would be. He was a woman, I mean how's that, that's cool isn't it? Um, and he was a bit worried about their reaction, but uh, as you might imagine, having fought alongside them, they were like quite cool about it. Um, then, he, then Captain James Gray, Captain S. Hannah Snell, went to see uh, her friend, uh, the Duke of Cumberland, who was the Prince Regent, had fought at the Battle of Culloden, um, a victory. Um, it, well, it was inevitably going to be a victory, the Battle of Culloden, wasn't it? Think about it. Um, Bonnie Prince Charlie and all his uh, outfit really weren't prepared. But anyway, apart from that, uh, the... Yeah, the Duke of Cumberland, as he was at the time, uh, later to be king, um, said, yeah, you can have your pension. I'm cool with that. Uh, and then Hannah Snell went on to like give talks and stuff about how he, she, had been a, a, a captain in the, uh, in the Royal Marines. How cool is that? You see, now that's 1750. That is 250 years ago, is that right? Yeah, 270 years ago. Um... So nothing is new under the sun. Um, finally, right, there's work going on the system. Um, it's going directly into my folder. Okay, go find it on my folder. Um, that's how it just happens to have been organized. Um, there is work in the lockdown folder. Um, that's all the general work, all the various reading and writing worksheets, the punctuation worksheets, the grammar worksheets, the spelling worksheets and things like that. They're all in there. Um, but this week's work is just in my folder. Next time I will I will do it the other way around, okay? But um, I'd love to change it right now, but my computer's gonna be off in about five seconds. That was Adrian the electrician who's gonna do that for me. What else? I'm sure that's gonna be something else. No, that's it. Really brief day today. Um, I think I'm pleased about the change in the weather. I mean, I do like loafing and lounging in, in the garden of an evening reading my book, but I can stay in and read a book today. Problem is, because we've got no electricity, that's all I can do. Um, won't even be able to play my PlayStation. 
never mind. I keep telling you a lot that it's a bad thing to do, which it is, to be honest with you. It's a bit mind-numbing, a bit brain-melting. Read a book. Um, I've nearly finished Touching the Void. It's amazing. It's amazing. If you don't want to read it, mums, dads, give that a read. It's just far out. Um, I've just got to the bit where he's fallen into the crevasse and he's making his way out. Um, it's, you know, if anyone's ever fallen a hundred feet, then you'd probably be in a bad way, if not dead. Uh, and he did it. I mean, with a broken leg. He had a broken leg when he fell. Uh, what a story. What an adventure. Okay. Finally, finally, finally. Um, every time I get an email from a mum or a dad, it's the best thing ever because it just helps me out. It helps me work out what state of mind you're in, what your problems are. Mums and dads seem to be just a bit more confident than you uh, t telling it like it is. So please keep in touch, keep communicating. It's really important. Um, you, you know, this, this may well go on till September. I think we've all realized that by now. And if that is the case, Okay, this term is actually even more important. All right, so keep communicating. Ask me any questions you like, um, apart from the stuff about the universe and stuff. I don't know how big Neptune is. Um, although I think it's a gas giant, isn't it? And it, it revolves in a strange, it's got a strange axis. It's tilted on its side. Um, so do that. Right. I think I need a haircut. Only a short one today then. Six minutes and 49.50 seconds. Let's see if I can get that off before seven minutes. Okay, bye. <laughs>